Hi. So I don't think we ever did an update in this second greenhouse. Uh, basically, this doesn't really belong to us, but um, it's a family thing, but it's mainly established by our parents. And in this greenhouse, it's largely jackfruits and yeah, custard apples. So I have, um, so in this, down this uh, line here is all jackfruit. Um, these are these were a Vans tree when uh, my parent bought them, um, and they're roughly around two meters high, and they're starting to fruit. But I don't have any hope that you know it will grow any bigger because the, the trunk of the tree is still very small, and um, these fruits that are here, I'll show you some here. These fruits here, they will eventually just go a different color like this and they'll just die <laughs> sad isn't it um, there's another one here yeah, it will just so essentially these trees are just not big enough for the the jackfruit to um, maintain a full ripened size fruit so in the earlier years I don't think um, you'll get anything out of it. Maybe if you do have a jackfruit, you're looking around like six, seven years or even longer. So we'll come along here. And mind you, this is the winter time in Perth. So they're not doing so well. These are technically a subtropical or tropical to subtropical Warm temperate, which is the um, climate zone here, is really pushing it. But if you grow them in the city, technically it's a bit warmer, so they might survive. And I've seen around locally, like Vietnamese people have grown these, and they're like producing really big fruit. This one is doing really, really well. As we get down to here, um, what happened was in the summertime, because we didn't come here often, and because of COVID, we weren't allowed to travel outside of our regional zone um, in WA. <laughs> so the water system was turned off or it wasn't going properly and we couldn't check either. So some of these trees are not doing so well. And there's one down there that actually um, kind of like didn't really make it. Um, so they're doing poorly, where some did okay. I'll show you on the other side where the custard apple are. Go. So you can see this is the custard apple, and there are roughly 40 trees that we have here. And these were bought all advanced, like maybe like three or four years in. Um, so it didn't take long, probably after two years, and they're busting out these kind of fruits. So, so far, um, this is like the size of my palm. It's roughly about 500, 500 grams. The only reason why I know it is because I've been selling a lot. It's almost like 100 kilos. And I took a photo on Facebook market and people said to me, that looks small. And I put it on the scale and it's like nearly a kilo. Anyway, <laughs> besides that, um, these are doing really, really, really well in this climate. Like I said, you can't go wrong with custard apple um, or whatever other name you call them. But in WA, Perth, Australia, custard apple is the way to go. Um, so we can get, these are still young. I don't know if people uh, know when custard apple are ready. I'll find a tree with more fruit. Okay, so you get a, a pretty good example here. You got these little ones. This one looks pretty, pretty good, but they're not ready because these little spikes that they have here, it's not fully expand. Whereas the one down here is the same size, but it's much bigger. They're more expand, so if you want to pick and choose between the two, 
you would go for that one rather than this one. Um, yeah, there, there are just lots everywhere. Uh, let me just find a really big one. This one here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I mean, this one's still got room to grow. The spike is still young. Like it hasn't fully expanded yet. I reckon it will reach a kilo. Easy. <laughs> so this one still has a lot of potential under the canopy. You can see there's like a number of younger fruits that's still growing. Oh, a big one up here. A huge one. Probably a kilo. Here. Ta da! Oh, yeah. Ta da! Oh, this is still small and it's still growing. This is probably about 600 grams. Is it? Yeah. Wow. So, um, you know, the secret. Uh, and I will tell you from years of experience growing custard apple tree, people like eating big fruit, but to me, the medium size is the best. Like, not too small, not too big. You're looking around the 300 to 400 gram mark. Anything bigger than that is like, it doesn't taste that good. It's just like when you buy a really big fish and they're old and all the nutrient and I don't know. It's like looking at an old woman and a young girl, which one do you want to go for, you know what I mean? <laughs> It sounds weird. But anyway, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, medium size are the best. Like the bigger fruits are just good for display. And I guess if you want to do smoothie, um, some sort of juicing, then you might go for the bigger one because you don't want to go through all the seed. But if you're going to eat it right, like when it's ripe and fresh, not too soggy and soft, just slightly soft, that's like the best time, I reckon. Um, so if we just look over this other direction, there's actually some more as well in here. And um, you can see along here we actually grow some stuff underneath. So these are your eggplants. I Personally, you don't need to do a greenhouse. The only reason why we're doing it is because of the wind. Um, we have wind break in that direction. But anything from this side of the, uh, the wind coming from this side, it will just eat these tr trees. Like if you don't protect them, it will die. Um, but if you're growing just one by itself in the city somewhere in the metro area, you won't need it. Um, only if you're doing massive scale. And like I said, winter time, so they do burnt a little bit. And if you grow them in a shade house, they are prone to disease like these little black thing i can't remember mites or something like that um that's something to be mindful of if you grow them outside of the shade house then it's not too bad i reckon it got to do with the wind humidity so a bit of maintenance in there anywho that's it uh just to give you a bit of an update on this side because we've never done one before i think uh see you next time enjoy your custard apple season bye